Hey guys, Irene here. Today I wanted to show you guys how I use gradient maps to tone and color grade the images. I know that a lot of you guys are confused about gradient maps because I always get this comment whenever I do any Photoshop tutorial using them. So I wanted to do a whole dedicated video to gradient maps. I think it's a very useful tool and it's a lot of fun experimenting with different colors. It can give your image a completely different look. It's almost like a little filter that you can put on and color grade the image to however colors you really want. So I like to use my gradient maps as an adjustment layer. So you can click right over here and find gradient map. So now you're going to have this little window pop up and if you click on the gradient, you're going to get to the gradient editor. Pretty much what gradient map does is it converts the grayscale to whatever colors you like. And in simple words, it finds the shadows and the highlights of the image and you can put whatever colors you want onto those. So as you can see, I already have some gradient maps created here, but if you have never used the gradient maps, you're only going to have the default colors. So you're going to have a black and white like this red and green and all of these different ones. I actually really, really like to use the black and white gradient map for converting my images to black and white. In my opinion, it's one of the best tools in Photoshop to instantly get a black and white image. So now to change a color of your gradient map, you can simply click on the little square right here and it's going to take you to the color picker and you can choose whatever color you like here. I usually like to stick with darker colors for the shadows and with lighter colors for the highlights. So let's say that I want to choose this green color. Mm, like this, this really dark green color. And then for the highlights, same thing. You can just kind of click on this little uh, square and you can choose whatever color you like. And then again, for the highlights, I like to stick with a lighter color, but you can go ahead and experiment by putting darker colors in the highlights. It's just going to give you a very different look. So let's see, what do I want to do here? Let's go for kind of an orange color. Yeah, something like this. Another cool thing that you can do is you can add even more points. So you can do that by just simply clicking under the gradient map like this. So you created just another point here and you can drag it along. And as you can see, it's changing the gradient here. You can also drag these little things. And yeah, you can add as many points as you want. And to delete them, you just kind of press on it and then click delete, press on it, click delete, press on it, click delete. I'm going to create another middle point here and I'm just going to drag it over here. And then by dragging this little white spot, you also are dragging the gradient. You're just dragging the green color closer. And as you can see, it's just adding more green color overall to the image. So let's leave it. Mm, oops. Yeah, let's just say that I want it here and I usually like to save my gradient map so I can use it in other pictures. All I have to do is just press new and the gradient is going to appear here. And now I can just press OK and we can play with some blending modes now. So one of my favorite ones is multiply, uh, overlay and soft light. You can go ahead and play with whatever other blending modes you like. But the three that I mentioned are probably the best ones. And I actually really, really like multiply. And sometimes I go for soft light. So let's go back to multiply and you can always adjust the opacity of your filter here. And it's going to make the picture look a little bit more normal without the crazy, crazy green and yellow color. And yeah, you can just play here with the opacity. You can do the same thing with other overlays. You can adjust how much of an intensity you want for this to be. Uh, actually, let's leave it at soft light. Now, the cool thing is that you can go back into gradient map and see what kind of other colors would look like on your image. So you just have to double click on the gradient. Then again, double click 
here and you can just apply any other of your gradients to see what it's going to look like. I actually really like this one here. So I'm just going to keep that one. And then again, you can see what it looks like in multiply. Yeah, I think that looks really cool actually. And as you can see, that changed the picture into a completely different color. This is why I absolutely love using gradient maps. It's a very simple way to do some cool toning and color grading to your image. If you are not sure about what colors go well together, you can always reference the color wheel. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with it, but I just want to touch up on it again for people that don't really know much about the color uh, combining. So uh, the easiest way is just to go across the color wheel. So if we draw a line across the wheel, we're going to hit the blue and the yellow color. Those colors are complementary. The same goes for the orange and teal for red and green for purple and like a yellowish kind of tone so these are great examples of some complementary colors and this is why we often see those orange and teal colored images on instagram very recently it's very pleasing to the eye because those are actually complementary colors that you can find across the color wheel also like to use the colors that go in the same color family so let's say that i would use yellow orange and red right here they are all warm colors and they go really nicely together i also like to use purple and yellows together or blues and greens or greens and yellows there are so many other ways of combining the colors but these are just the basic ones and once you're familiar with the basics it's going to be a lot easier to experiment with other colors in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed this very quick simple video thumbs up if you want to see more videos like that in the future subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye